Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 20. And Ben-Hadad, the king of Aram, gathered all his host together, and there were thirty and two kings with him, and horses and chariots. And he went up and besieged Shomoron and warred against it. And he sent messengers to Ahav, king of Yashadael, into the city, and said unto him, Thus says Ben-Hadad, Your silver and your gold is mine, your women also, and your children, even the goodliest are mine. And the king of Yashadael answered and said, My lord, O king, according to your saying, I am yours, and all that I have. And the messengers came again and said, Thus speaks Ben-Hadad, saying, Although I have sent unto you, saying, You shall deliver me your silver and your gold and your women and your children, yet I will send eth my servants unto you tomorrow about this time, and they shall search eth your house and eth the houses of your servants, and it shall be that whatsoever is pleasant in your eyes, they shall put it in their hand and take it away. Then the king of Yashara'el called all the elders of the land and said, Mark, I pray you, and see how this man seeks his mischief, rather, seeks mischief, for he sent unto me for my women and for my children and for my silver and for my gold, and I denied him not. And all the elders and all the people said unto him, Hearken not unto him, nor consent. Wherefore he said unto the messengers of Ben-Hadad, Tell my lord the king all that you did send for to your servant. At the first I will do, but this thing I may not do. And the messengers departed and brought him word again. And Ben-Hadad said unto him, and said, rather, sent unto him, and said, The Elohim do so unto me, and more also, if the dust of Shomoron shall suffice for handfuls for all the people that follow me. And the king of Yashadael answered and said, Tell him, let not him that girds on his harness boast himself as he that puts it off. And it came to pass, when Bain Hadad heard at this message, as he was drinking, he and the kings in the pavilions, that he said unto his servants, Set yourselves in array. And they set themselves in array against the city. And behold, there came a prophet unto Achav, king of Yashadael, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, Have you seen eth all this great multitude? Behold, I will deliver it into your hand this day, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah. And Achav said, By whom? And he said, Thus says Yahuwah, Even by the young men of the princes of the provinces. Then he said, who shall order the battle? And he answered, You. Then he numbered at the young men of the princes of the provinces, and they were two hundred and thirty-two. And after them he numbered at all the people, even all the children of Yashadael, being seven thousand. And they went out at noon, but Bain Hadad was drinking himself drunk in the pavilions, he and the kings, the thirty and two kings that helped him. And the young men of the princes of the provinces went out first, and Bain Hadad sent out, and they told him, saying, There are men come out of Shomoron. And he said, 
whether they are come out for peace, take them alive, or whether they are come out for war, take them alive. So these young men of the princes of the provinces came out of the city and the army which followed them, and they slew every one his man, and the Aramim fled, and Yashadael pursued them, and Bain Hadad, the king of Aram, escaped, rather escaped on a horse with the horsemen. And the king of Yashadael went out and smote eth the horses and eth the chariots and slew the Aramim with a great slaughter. And the prophet came to the king of Yashadael and said unto him, Go, strengthen yourself, and mark, and see at what you do. For at the return of the year, the king of Aram will come up against you. And the servants of the king of Aram said unto him, Their Elohim are Elohim of the hills. Therefore they were stronger than we. But... Let us fight against them in the plain, and surely we shall be stronger than they. And do eth this thing. Take the kings away, every man out of his place, and put captains in their rooms. And number you an army, like the army that you have lost, horse for horse, and chariot for chariot. And we will fight against them in the plain, and surely we shall be stronger than they. And he hearkened unto their voice, and did so. And it came to pass, at the return of the year, that Bain Hadad numbered at the Aramim, and went up to Ephech, to fight against Yashadael. And... The children of Yashadael were numbered, and were all present, and went against them. And the children of Yashadael pitched before them like two little flocks of kids. But the Aramamim, rather Aramim, filled eth the country. And there came a man of Elohim and spoke unto the king of Yashadael, and said, Thus says Yahuwah, because the Aramim have said, Yahuwah is Elohai of the hills, but he is not Elohai of the valleys. Therefore will I deliver eth all this great multitude into your hand, and ye shall know that I am Yahuwah. And they pitched one over against the other seven days. And it was so that in the seventh day the battle was joined. And the children of Yashadael slew of Eth the Aramim a hundred thousand footmen in one day. But the rest fled to Ephech into the city, and there a wall fell upon twenty and seven thousand of the men that were left. And Bain Hadad fled and came into the city, into an inner chamber. And his servants said unto him, Behold now, we have heard that the kings of the house of Yashadael are merciful kings. Let us, I pray you, put sackcloth on our loins, and ropes upon our heads, and go out to the king of Yashadael. Perchance he will save at your life. So they girded sackcloth on their loins, and put ropes on their heads, and came to the king of Yashadael, and said, Your servant Bain Hadad says, I pray you, let me live. And he said, is he yet alive? He is my brother. Now the men did diligently observe whether anything would come from him, and did hastily catch it, 
And they said, Your brother Bain Hadad. Then he said, Go ye, bring him. Then Bain Hadad came forth to him, and he caused him to come up into the chariot. And Bain Hadad said unto him, The cities which my father took from your father I will restore, and you shall make streets for you in Damascus, as my father made in Shomoron. Then said Achav, I will send you away with this covenant. So he cut a covenant with him and sent him away. And a certain man of the sons of the prophets said unto his neighbor in the word of Yahuwah, Smite me, I pray you. And the man refused to smite him. And then said he unto him, Because you have not obeyed the voice of Yahuwah, behold, as soon as you are departed from me, a lion shall slay you. And as soon as he was departed from him, a lion found him and slew him. Then he found another man and said, Smite me, I pray you. And the man smote him, so that in smiting he wounded him. So the prophet departed and waited for the king by the way, and disguised himself with ashes upon his face. And as the king passed by, he cried unto the king and said, Your servant went out into the midst of the battle, and behold, a man turned aside and brought a man unto me and said, Guard eth this man, if by any means he be missing, then shall your life be for his life, or else you shall pay a talent of silver. And as your servant was busy here and there, he was gone. And the king of Yashadael said unto him, So shall your judgment be. Yourself has decided it. And he hasted and took eth the ashes away from his face. And the king of Yashadael discerned him that he was of the prophets. And he said unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, because you have let go eth out of your hand a man whom I appointed to utter destruction, therefore your life shall go for his life and your people for his people. And the king of Yashadael went to his house heavy and displeased and came to Shomoron.